3. The Fire Sermon The river's tent is broken, the last fingers of leaf clutch and sink into the wet bank. The wind crosses the brown land, unheard, the nymphs are departed. Sweet Thames, run softly till I end my song. The river bears no empty bottles, sandwich papers, silk handkerchiefs, cardboard boxes, cigarette ends, or other testimony of summer nights. The nymphs are departed, and their friends, the loitering heirs of city directors, departed, have left no addresses. By the waters of Lehman, I sat down and wept. Sweet Thames, run softly till I end my song. Sweet Thames, run softly, for I speak not loud or long. But at my back, in a cold blast, I hear the rattle of the bones and chuckle spread from ear to ear. A rat crept softly through the vegetation, dragging its slimy belly on the bank while I was fishing in the dull canal on a winter evening round behind the gas hose. Music upon the king, my brother's wreck, and on the king, my father's death before him. White bodies naked on the low, damp ground, and bones cast in a little, low, dry garret, rattled by the rat's foot only year to year. But at my back from time to time I hear the sound of horns and motors which shall bring Sweeney to Mrs. Porter in the spring. Oh, the moon shone bright on Mrs. Porter and on her daughter. They washed their feet in soda water. Et au sevoir de fond chantant dans les coupoles. Twit, twit, twit. Jug, 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 so rudely forced. Terreau, unreal city under the brown fog of a winter noon. Mrs. Eugenides, the Smyrna merchant, unshaven with a pocket full of currants. C.I.F. London, documents at sight. Ask me in demonic French to luncheon at the Cannon Street Hotel, followed by a weekend at the Metropole. At the violet hour when the eyes and back turn upward from the desk, when the human engine waits like a taxi throbbing, waiting. I, Tiresias, though blind, throbbing between two lives, old man with wrinkled female breasts can see at the violet hour, the evening hour that strives homeward and brings the sailor home from sea. The typist home at tea time, clears her breakfast, lights her stove and lays out food in tins. Out of the window carelessly spread her drying combinations touched by the sun's last rays. On the divan are piled at night her bed, stocking, slippers, camisoles and stays. I, to serious old man with wrinkled dugs, perceived the scene and foretold the rest. I too awaited the expected guest. He, the young man, carbuncular, arrives. A small house agent's clerk with one bold stare, one of the low on whom assurance sits as a silk hat on a Bradford millionaire. The time is now propitious, as he guesses. The meal is ended, she is bored and tired, endeavours to engage her in caresses, which still are unreproved, if undesired. Flushed and desired, he assaults at once, exploring hands encounter no defence. His vanity requires no response and makes a welcome of indifference. And I, too serious, have foresuffered all, and acted on this same divan or bed. I, who have sat by Thebes below the wall, and walked among the lowest of the dead, bestows one final patronizing kiss, and gropes his way, finding the stairs unlit. She turns, and looks a moment in the glass, Hardly aware of her departed lover, her brain allows one half-formed thought to pass. Well, now that's done, and I'm glad it's over. 
When lovely woman stoops to folly and paces about her room again alone, she smooths her hair with automatic hand and puts a record on the gramophone. The music crept by me upon the waters, and along the strand up Queen Victoria Street, O oh, city, city, I can sometimes hear, besides a public bar in Lower Thames Street. The pleasant whining of a mandoline and a clatter and a chatter from within, where fishmen lounge at noon, where the walls of Magnus Martyr hold inexplicable splendour of Ionian white and gold. The river sweats, oil and tar, the barges drift with the running tide, red sails wide to leeward, swing on the heavy spar, the budgers wash. Drifting logs down Greenwich reach past the Isle of Dogs. We a la la, le hey, wala lo, hele! Elizabeth and Lester beating oars, the stern was formed, a gilded shell, red and gold, the brisk swell, rippled both shores, southwest wind, carried downstream, the peal of bells, white towers. Wala le, le hey, wala la, le le le! Trams and dusty trees, Highbury bore me, Richmond and Kew, undid me by Richmond, I raised my knees, supine on the floor of a narrow canoe. My feet are at Moorgate, and my heart under my feet. After the event he wept, he promised a new start. I made no comment, what should I resent? On Margate Sands I can connect nothing with nothing, the broken fingernails of dirty hands. My people humble, people who expect nothing. La la, to Carthage then I came. Burning, 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 O oh Lord, thou pluckest me out. O oh Lord, thou pluckest burning. Burning.